What is up guys? How you doing today? It's your favorite YouTuber for why and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Wednesday and today 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 We will be reacting to something crazy something amazing We will be reacting to Momo's FIFA HD new song called Sauce Fit Monster so in case you guys don't know, Momo FIFA HD is a FIFA YouTuber. He currently like you know said on Snapchat that he wants to be doing all kind of stuff, and I feel like it's a great idea because it's a way for him to explore in you know in different angles and dimension of YouTube, and I feel like it's a it's a great way to grow his channel you know from more than a million. But guys, Momo FIFA HD is also a rapper, you know, and again he there was just a time that I was actually pissed at him because he what did he do? Okay. He, 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 he was talking about a diss track or something and some YouTuber tweeted uh, him or made a video about him calling him out that he doesn't know how to rap and in the video he said he's not a rapper. That that really hurts my soul because, but it's a long time ago because I, I really don't, you know, I really don't give a shit. Even though I suck at rapping, you don't fucking tell me that I'm not good. You know, if you feel like I'm not good, then come out here and let's battle. Let, you know, show me what you got and I'll show you what you got. If you if you are not in my shoes, don't fucking tell me what to do. You know, that's just life. Bro, that, that is just life. If you're not in the streets, don't tell me how to fucking run the street. Go fuck yourself and shove your dick up in your ass. Straight up, I'm being so fucking real. But you guys know, Momo FIFA HD is one of my favorite YouTubers. I watch this dude, you know. I support him in any way I can. So he just dropped a new song called Sauce. And let me tell you a little bit about the sauce. He went to Togo, which is the African country that is from, which is very close to Nigeria. I got a lot of friends from Togo while I was in Nigeria. You know, shout out to Kwame, you know, Justin, a lot of my friends that are from Togo. So he went to Togo and he shot one of his music video while he was there and it was amazing. And guys, like, for me to be reacting to this song, you guys should know this song is really, really good. Because if you guys can actually go to the, because I'm going to post the original link of the, of the video, down in the comment section below like if you guys really want to check out this song just go and check it out and type my name in the comment section you see that i'm gonna pop up because i actually said that i've watched the video close to 20 times and i really did like that is how much i love the video you know i've watched the video up to this stage and i'm like okay let me just react to this video you know what i'm saying i just want to do this mate i just want to i just want to do this because this is amazing man like i could just relate to the song in so many ways and i just felt like no I gotta do this. So guys, without further ado, let us get straight right into the video. Look at him, Momo Fever ate all the way from airport, bro. This is amazing. Bro, this is amazing. Like this, like I'm, I'm so happy that yeah. his people showed him PG. love. Well, all of my guys, we were just making that dough. Yeah. yeah. See, back in the day, that money was coming in slow. Coming in slow, bro. I was locked in my room, my mama was kicking my dough. Yeah. Down. We had no table, we had to be free on the floor. Free on the floor. Yeah, it took two years to blow. Two years. And I look at my waist. That's Louis, Louis talking. Talk. Louis. Now I'm doing shows, <laughs> picking girls on the road. Wait, this is so, like, this nigga even got his own mask on. For a million subscribers, he got his own mask on. For fuck's sake, guys. We're never alone, I'm living alone. Get from my hands, to sunset all. Take a little glass, that's not too Had no money in my pocket. Trying to make a little profit Started stealing like a bandit Got my mama feeling worried Three years later got a COVID Grind paid off gotta show it Now the haters got offended Cause I'm working on infended Pockets full, got a lot of hoes Don't call my phone if you ain't my back No, whoa I be smashing all my goals Goals, we the niggas in control We the niggas Used to be trapping, trapping, trapping on the ghost Vroom, vroom, you can see me, I'm a ghost Cause back in the days, all I wanted was some gold Go. Now look at my wrist, all you see is rose gold I was based off, that's just how the way it goes It is, it is Trying to be rich, like I did by yo I used to be poor, huh? that was not a joke That was not a joke Spent some time in jail, but never dropped the soul No, see many more, see many more Yeah, I'm never alone I came from the floor, yeah Jump out the pause. Yeah. They watching reflection and starting cause I got the sauce. Yeah. What? Well, copy, I'm working on sauce. They're taking my pictures, they want no report. I got no remorse. 
came from the jungle, so I had to be wrong. Man, what? you had to be wrong, bro. Snakey, this nigga came from the call. jungle. Now I'm slamming my hammer. I got you in call. Yeah, I don't think that they understand me. I'm doing things that you can't understand. These boys fake like some Gucci bags. <laughs> this nigga's fake like some Gucci bags. Trying to move to Afghanistan. <laughs> This nigga say he to move to Afghanistan. Look at the sorrows. Look at the sorrows. Oh, I I, I even know the director. The, the, the director is a Nigerian dude. I swear, the, the, the director is a Nigerian dude. So, guys, like, this is the end of the video, and, uh, that was amazing, you know, coming from somebody that I like and I could, you know, relate my life to, you know, in being from Africa and, you know, coming here and trying to make it like, like, guys, it, it's really hard. I know because, you know, a, a lot of people cannot, like, you know, cannot relate. I tell you, like, a lot of people, you know, because, because they're broke, because they're black, because they're, they're these, they, they'll try to relate, but they can't. It's just like, you know when you have that white friend but still it, it cannot relate to your pain it, it cannot relate to what what you're going going through even though it sues you and it feels like you understand but you just don't because you know being from africa only like you you face a lot of discrimination from among your your peers you know even from like regular black people that, that are your friends from school even from from everybody just being from africa in general like you just face discrimination from everybody and uh, you know, I just feel feel like you know this is a phase of life that you know we, as an individual, need to go through. You know, because I feel like as an individual in your life, you you just face a lot of bullshit being a teenager. Like I was in the school one day, and there was this big dude trying to bully me, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Like this nigga, I, you know, I could just start fighting him right there. But I know if I if I if I if I'd fought him, I would probably be suspended right now. You know, what is the essence of you know being in high school for all these years? And in my like, how many days till I graduate? Then I just fucked up. So I just you know let him slide. You know, because they just when you say something, they laugh at you because of your accent. When you try to do something, they laugh at you. Oh no, you can't do this. When you try to rap, when you try to sing, when you try to do anything, they just feel like oh you are trash because you are African because you don't sound like them and you know it's just crazy like guys this is something real I was actually in the barber shop and the, the barber that was cutting my hair actually told me that Africans are bad people because when the white people use them as slavery why didn't Africans come over here to fight I'm like what what like I'm like does that even sound real to you like you know a, like a lot of people just you know we just face discrimination because of different shit. You know, right here it's not because of color. Yeah, it's probably because of how we sound, how we speak. And, you know, that is why few Africans face discrimination amongst their pairs. And, you know, but I just feel like, you know, it's that phase of life that you would just overcome because, you know, that is just life for you. Like, we, we all got challenges. And, you know, listening to his song, his song is something that I could relate. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he has been in this country close to three years, four years. You know what I'm saying? And you know, he has been doing what he loves. And he has been getting support from his fans. And that is amazing. You know, I just want to see him grow more. Because, you know, the, the, the dude is awesome. Like, you know, he's awesome. And, guys, check out the song. Check out his channel. Just type up Momo in case you don't know him. Just type up Momo. He's going to pop up. You know, subscribe to this channel, check out the song. It's a really good song, Sauce Official. In case you don't know the meaning of sauce, it means just like like when you talk about natural resources, but all you gotta do is take up the natural and the re and the re. So the sauce that's left, that is what it's singing about. That is, it's, it's trying to it's, it's trying to paint this picture in in your mind that okay, this is this is the source of of my income. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to tell you guys something about the story and the past of his life you know which is amazing great song Momo Fifa HD you know I've watched this song close to 20 to 40 times I can't lie to you because it's so so relatable and uh yeah I forgot to say don't my room is shitty so I'm really sorry but guys you know what I'm saying thank you guys for watching this video it has been your favorite YouTuber for a while and peace